So the first thing I'm doing is priming using the Tarte Clean Slate Primer and I'm just applying this all over my skin using my fingers. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and the Astralis Lightening Drops to lighten up the foundation because I was very, very pale this day, so I'm just buffing all of this into my skin. Then I'm taking the NYX Contour, no, not Contour, I'm using it to contour. It's a foundation stick in the shade Caramel, and I'm just using it to cream contour my face, and I am blending all of that out using a angled kabuki from Sigma. Then for eyes, I'm applying some tape to the outer corners, and then I'm going to prime using the Tarte Clean Slate Eye Primer. This is a creaseless primer. And then I'm going into the Morphe 35O palette and I'm taking that really light, almost white matte shade and applying it all over my eyelids. Then I'm going in to this sort of light brownie shade and I'm just using a Sigma E40 to buff this right into the crease and bringing it right into the inner corners as well. And yeah, just messily buffing this all around. Then I'm going in with this mustardy kind of camel shade and I'm doing the same thing but keeping it a little bit lower this time down in the crease. Then the next shade I'm taking is this nice warm toned brown. It's very much like Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and I'm using a Sigma E25 I think this one is to buff it into the outer corners and then bring the rest of the product through the crease. And then I'm taking this dark, like kind of cool tone brown and I'm doing the exact same thing basically. Just buffing it along that, that lash line and then bringing it into the outer corner. And then once again, just going in with that E40 brush and bluff, bleh, buffing everything out. And then I'm taking this super light orangey yellow shade and just adding this into the crease for a little bit more warmth. Then I'm taking that white shade once again and just using this as a brow bone highlight and just making sure that my shades weren't too far up towards the brow. And then I'm going back in with that cool tone dark brown that I used earlier and just using this on more of a precise brush and I'm using this in the outer corner and again through the crease. And then going back in with the E25 brush to make sure all of those shades are nice and blended. Then I'm taking that nice warm toned mid brown shade once again and I'm bringing this right into the inner corner. I'm sort of creating like a halo eye um, but I didn't end up really doing a halo eye in the end. But yeah, as you can see I'm just putting this in the inner corners and then blending some more onto the lid space. Then I'm going in with the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Bronzed Bell. And as you can see, I started by applying it to the very center of the eyelid, but I felt like I wanted it to be on more of the lid, so I ended up taking a brush and just blending out the edges and blending it in towards my inner corner a little bit more. And it created the most beautiful glittery bronzy effect. I love, love this product. And then I'm going back in with my blending brush just to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner in black and I am creating a nice thick winged liner. I mean it's thick for me, it may not be thick for some people. Um, so yeah, just creating a sort of thin line along the lid but the outer corners I'm winging it out more. Then you can remove the tape and I'm curling my eyelashes and applying some eyeliner in my tight line. This is the Tarte Man Eater one. And then I'm going to go in with some Tarte Tartist Mascara and just give my lashes a coat of this. I didn't get a clip of the falsies I used but they were the House of Lashes Knockout Lashes. And then moving on to the skin, I'm going to conceal my under eyes and highlight using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm just applying that all down the center of my face and I'm going to blend it out using this little concealer type buffer brush. And then going in with the RCMA No Color Powder, which is the most stupid packaging in the world. 
Like, how are you supposed to use it? I think it's absolutely ridiculous packaging, but the product is really, really good. So I'm applying it all over my face and under my eyes using a little setting brush just to get right up under there. And then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Pro Glow to Go palette and take the bronzer shade and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones using that shade. I love this shade for a bronzer, it's so good for contouring. So I'm just applying it around the perimeters and underneath my cheekbones of my face. And then I took the setting brush I used for my under eyes as well underneath my contour just to sharpen it up. Then for blush, I'm using the new Benefit California blush, which is so beautiful, it smells amazing, the color is amazing, and the packaging is, is amazing. So I'm applying that to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm taking the top shade from the Tardis uh, Pro Glow to Go palette, and I'm just applying it to the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, my nose, my chin, and above the arches of my brows. Then moving in, I just concealed my lash line a little bit more with the black liquid liner just to make sure it was nice and covered. And then I'm going back in with that light brown shade I used as my transition colour and I'm just going to buff this right underneath the lower lash line. Then the next shade I'm taking is that Camelie Mustard shade once again, doing the same thing, just building up the colours and smoking them out. Next shade I'm taking is the Warm Tone Brown and the Dark Cool Tone Brown. So I'm just mixing those two together and creating a little custom colour and buffing that underneath the eyes. And then I'm going in with the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten and I'm just highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. And then I go in with the Stila Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow once again and I just applied that right the way underneath the eyelids, pretty much three quarters of the way. And then last of all, I finished off with the lips. I chose this beautiful brownie red shade. It's called Vibin and it's a tart lip paint. So that completed the look and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.